This small country of a million people gained independence in 1999 and since then has lurched from crisis to crisis. In 2006, the army split in two and groups from west and east of the nation turned on each other. The media is like a bullet being used by the politicians from both sides, against each other, counter each other, for their interest, not for the media itself, not for the people. Them. Of the government of RDTL. It's only instinct. Instinct. It's working. And also the way you communicate with the people, the way that I communicate with them. I said, look, I have nothing to do with you guys. You do your business, I do my job. No, I'm just a journalist. I'm just covering what the events going on. They cover up everything. So they just saw some small bits there and you go there and then something else happened here. You don't know, you don't understand this way. That's the problem of the international media sometimes. They thought, this is it, this is what happened. But underneath something else, yeah. So they didn't really go in depth. These Australian journalists came in, do the story, and then after they finished the story, they go. They left the country and they stay there, they stay. If a Timorese media is doing the story, they stay here, and it's risk for them. In the beginning, I have to try and encourage them. Look, if you do this kind of story, you will be become a good journalist. If you are just doing some short story, you're going, we're going to make ourselves look like a puppet journalist. 